Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Anuit Coptis. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the developer sent this over, very kindly. This is a demo, and this is, as they say, a nihilist dark game deck builder. So I'm very curious to see where this goes, because I do think uh, when you touch on stories like that with anti-heroes and nihilism, much harder to pull off. Because you lose goals, you lose, uh, you know, the first signs that noted ago, though none of them knew what they meant. The world is ending. The first set of signs were noted weeks ago, though none knew what they meant. The music's great. Stars began to go out. Stars went out. Stars snuffed out. Others seem to spiral around a hole in the sky, their light trailing like milk running down the rain. Man, mad, mad beast became feral and something else happened. The moon gave up hope and flung itself into the ocean. What was sunken has been thrown up. What is dry will soon be buried by the waves. I mean, the intro is pretty baller. I respect that. I think there are some grammar and just some like tightening up of sentences, but I like kind of the, the the music is really selling this. Holes open in the earth and chaos poured out. Whole settlements disappeared overnight. Some were left as ruins heaped with half-eaten corpses. Others with no sign of the inhabitants of the until the underground. Whew. Slow readers, beware. This is not a future for slow readers. The rule of men fails. Institutions that are the pillars of society, churches, guilds, and governments crack and tumble over. Panic, rioting, and starvation set in death sweeps his hand across all the lands of men. Yeah, that's death. He's sweeping. Brother Death is sweeping. Even time is strange now. Babies turn to old men in the womb. People remember events that have yet to happen. The dead have even... I would say infants turned to... In, you know, like, babies is a is a, is a a different register of language. So there, there's obviously some tweaking and some tuning, I think, that can happen at the narrative level. But... Let me center this first. So I'm on a widescreen, and just so you know, um, the edges of the game are kind of showing in a little bit weird. So I know that Unity is very persnickety about aspect ratios, but um, just be aware that like your meant your settings buttons way up in the corner. I think I don't know what that does. Welcome to Anuid Coptus. Here you will choose a protagonist for your run. Currently, only the Wanderer is available. Well, I love characters named the Wanderer, so I'm stoked. My novel that's coming out has a character named the Wanderer in it, so I did it first. I'm just kidding. No, I don't care. It's fine. It's uh, freely available. Available, but more will come. You may also be the protagonist of the deck here. Okay. Health, might is sorcery. Man, they got the bangers today. All right. Sing me muse, though. Tell me a story of that man skilled in all the ways of counseling the wanderer, harried for years on end. A warrior from a boat in this land who carved a, carved a sword from ore of a boat. Yes, let's go. I wanted to view deck. Oh well, we're gonna find out. We're going in. We're going in blind. Um, deck building is is tricky. Um, we're building a deck building game, and it is hard. Um, but uh, I'm curious to see how this one evolves. Behind you lay the lands of the south, now fallen in ruin uh, by war, war bands and scavengers. Through the mountains you have come here to the land of Zoravia. Zoravia. These do look a little AI gen. Like, these do kind of give me some dolly. I. I I don't know if I'm just imagining things, but these look literally a great flood wiped the town out of a hundred years ago. The story is told that a prophecy warned the impending disaster with enough time to act. The hard work and cooperation of the inhabitants saved most. Though I could be totally wrong. I can I also get that people have stylistic things. But like that noise pattern in the back. 
Vora then flourished, becoming the place of trade and center for religion. The cathedral, St. Euphemia's sanctuary, is known as far and wide as a place of peace and prosperity. I wonder if you could have this be click to advance or space to advance. Until now, even from here, you see buildings collapse and toppled over due to the earthquake or sinkhole in the center of town. Again, earthquake or sinkhole, like pick pick whatever it is and just stick with it. Uh, whenever you, especially with nouns, you know, if, if the writer is not sure about what it is, is it an earthquake or is it a sinkhole, then it's going to really read a lot less clear to the reader. Flames can be seen consuming half a town. They race their destruction against the rioters and looters that crawl over the place like maggots on a coal perched on the lip of a volcano so a little purple prose there i kind of because the language is so descriptive i'm losing a little bit of sight of what's actually going on the music is getting a little smoother. right there maybe whatever they leave alive and intact will soon be swept away by the incoming fury of the ocean time is short and you hurry forward all right time is short i'm hurrying forward Oh, okay. So I have 77 health, so I, I can move my picture here. Whoa, that was strange. What the heck? Oh, I see. It like has mouse scrolling. Okay, good to know. Um. Uh. Uh, uh, I'll just leave 77 as my help there. Okay. And, okay, so we're going, I guess, here is the first place. Here at the end, these people have found community purpose and even faith. They chant and spin and slash themselves with stones. They will not let you pass. You are not one of them. They are not in the mood to negotiate. Neither are you. Yes? I don't know what no would be. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am in a mood to negotiate. <laughs> Cultists. Might, sorcery, mana, exhaustion, health. Wow. Um, I am pretty going in pretty cold and blind. Flurry. Reflex strike. Uh, hand size six. I have might. Wide swing. Can I right click? Oh, wow. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that, I mean, even this is just not even on screen for me, right? So I think there's just like a lot of polish things that might need to be looked at in the mechanics level. But let's just try. Let's see what happens. Wide swing. Oh, so that hits three people. Okay. In turn. Ow. 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 Oh, so this hits the whole row. Got it. This is wide swing. Ah, I see. Okay. I get it. That's cool mechanic. I like the stack mechanic well enough. Reflex strike. I don't really know what that's supposed to do, but I'm going to burst this guy down, so I just take less damage. Exhaustion 2. What does this mean? Reduces your max hand size when drawing new turns. Fight! It's a dice roll. Uh... Hello? Can you please attack him, please? Okay. I don't know why that didn't attack him. I, is it only in the middle that I can play that? Uh, exhaustion, maybe? Might. Physical attacks resets each turn. Okay. Um. In turn? Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll abandon this run. I think it, it glitched out or something. We're going to try one more time. We're going to try one more time. New. No. I just hold escape to skip, right? Is what it said. 
press an escape. I knew it, Coptus. All right, here we go. I'm doing the Wanderer. I kind of can see my deck now, though. That's cool. So a lot of flurries and reflexes and pierce. Okay, cool. Got it, 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 got it. Yes, we're doing the Wanderer, friends. Let's try one more time. Now that I got a little bit of a chance. I like that idea, though, of, of like kind of like the stacks where you can play vertically, horizontally. That's a really cool concept. I think that's a clever approach to deck building. I think this still needs a lot of polish. So I'd say, hey, put that polish in, you know, get this to a place that you're really excited about. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and make sure that just the, the, the core loop is stable. Um, yeah, because just some of the stuff, I think and this looks like it's in Unity. I could be mistaken. Fight. I don't know what reflexes do. I guess I have to drag him to this gray hitbox. Still don't really know exactly what reflex does. Reflex strike. Flurry. Yeah, there we go. I'll burst down the big stack. So the intern's there now. I have one exhaustion. I don't know if I played too many cards. So now I'm back to zero. All right. So both these guys are pretty stacked. So if I do this, I'll get an exhaustion, right? No. Wait, what? Why did I... Were these guys inflicting me with exhaustion? Oh, I see the little rose. Wow, that is really hard to see. Um, I'm also just old and blind, so that could be a thing. But I, I'm starting to see the rose. Wow, this guy's like a god. Dude, what? What? Did it miss? Does it miss? Is missing possible? All right, I ended turn. Hand size five, computer, no. I think we're hitting some technical issues, sadly. Um, but overall, yeah, I, I'll share my thoughts on the game briefly. Um, I know that, hey, this is very early build, very early demo, and I imagine there's a lot more to come. But yeah, I, I like the concept. I think there's, uh, I think there's two things that I'm impressed by, and, and obviously I think there's a lot of things to continue to work on and develop. I really liked the initial music and story presentation was great. I thought that felt really good. It felt really, you know, with the mix of like kind of this very grim music and, and this kind of scary story of the fate of humanity. I thought that was really well done. Obviously, I think the writing in that section could be optimized, trimmed. But I think overall, like that writing optimization, you know, won't have like a huge impact, right? It's like, you know it's already doing kind of what it needs to do in, in a lot of respects um when it comes to the mechanics and the ui and ux like you know whatever i mean if this is unity then you want to take a look at your canvas you know <laughs> like what, what's, how's my unity canvas set up um i'm sure there's like ui buttons getting hidden behind layers or like interactions getting hidden behind layers or something weird going on um Unity UI is a nightmare. If this is done in Unity, I don't I don't remember. This is Godot. I'm sure that, you know, anything with game objects probably has similar problems. Um, but yeah, like I like the music. I think this music is a little less interesting, like the battle music. I kind of really liked, personally, that music in the intro, especially how it related to the story. This feels a little bit more generic. Um, yeah, I think the, like the, the vibes are pretty fun. Um, I like the idea of like the stacked cards where you're playing horizontally and vertically in rows. I think that's really nice. Um, the only other things I would I would flag though is like the the hitbox dragging on cards. I, I think needs a lot of work. Um, you know, I, I think it's okay to like over signal in your demo, right? Like um, a lot because this is a different UI size monitor. It's a wider screen. A lot of like the tooltips were off screen. 
a lot of the other information was off screen. So I would really make sure that whatever your canvas is for the game scene, it's able to kind of encompass a, a range of screen size. That is one of the things you will you will encounter. And, and you know, even even if it was windowed, I don't even know if I can make it windowed. Like that would be nice to be able to like say, hey, I just want to make it windowed. Like, you know, like just give me a, a frame that I can just automatically just that's totally fine as well. I also think a lot of the polish, like, you know, a lot of the sound design is still really early. Like the uh, mechanics beyond just playing cards is not super explained. Like might is a multiplier to physical attacks great i wasn't because it wasn't signaled when i was taking action it wasn't very clear what that meant or how it impacted right like i saw numbers on my cards i assumed this did three damage but sometimes it would and sometimes it would not um damage seemed a little unclear and variable so i think you know as you go in and continue to evolve this game really think about hey the person that plays this is going in totally blind assume they won't read anything assume they won't read anything and sort of say hey if someone just sits down and plays this blind could they you know if they have a general knowledge of gaming understand it right um and so i would really lean into that um you know like if something is modified by might why not have a little orange dot over that card and say hey this is a and you know maybe sorcery is a different color it's blue and 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 so okay you know blue cards so but like you know the, the cards have a red border but might is orange so i'm like okay well i don't know if that is how they interact like so here let me see there's the might card bright red um the might i don't i think that's a might card it's just an attack card i don't know if that's the modifier but then might over here is um uh you know orange so again like just thinking about hey how do colors tell a player what's going on how does screen position tell a player what's going on how can little mini or small animations fill a player in on what's going on like these are probably the most important things to think about and it sounds ridiculous but i do think one of the most important elements especially in card games is user interface the user interface matters more than so much because the user interface can be your tutorial it can be your storytelling it can be so much and so being thoughtful about your user interface how someone is seeing the play the play space how the play space is presented um, those i think are probably some of the most critical questions one can ask and continue to ask themselves but overall great job in the game i hope my little you know ramble is helpful in your uh continued work and of course feel free to reach out if you want me to play future versions and well done and see you soon take care bye bye